Because this episode features nothing that is either fast nor electrifying. After a powerful typhoon hits Japan, two boys from a mountaineering group are sent to go fetch some food after their campgrounds have been destroyed by the storm. At the same time, a uranium-eating monster named Gabora appears and causes havoc, leaving it in the hands of the science patrol to take it down. How do these two plots have anything in common? Well, they really don't. The youth group subplot is just something to make the final battle more tense, and it gets resolved pretty quickly and, albeit, kinda lazily. If anything, it would have been more interesting if the episode was told entirely from the perspective of the boys and them surviving Gabor's rampage while the science patrol dealt with the monster. But I digress. Characterization and effects work are both pretty average, with the only thing really worth mentioning is that Hoshino isn't as shrill or idiotic as he was in his first few appearances, which is an improvement, I guess, but not much for the episode itself. As for the monster Gabora, I honestly cannot see why this was a monster that had to be made. Many of Gabora's traits are already eerily similar to the ultra-cute monster Pagos. Both are made from the Baragon suit, both have a ravenous addiction to uranium, and both are about the same size as one another. Save for Gabora's head armor though, which isn't really exploited much in this episode, I believe Pagos could have been a much more suitable and easier choice to have gone with. Gabora just comes off as a clone and nothing more. The final battle also feels like a letdown. Not a bad one, but still pretty anticlimactic. All in all, Operation Lightning Speed is pretty much filler material. It's slow, predictable, and unless you really want to see a Toho Easter Egg, this is an episode that's not worth missing much by skipping. Shwakin!